Hello and welcome to the International Baker. Today we made what's called the Armenian nutmeg cake. I know I'm not writing it down and I made it without thinking to put the re to recipes, but maybe you'll understand me by saying it slowly. We began with putting two cups of flour, sifted, I sifted two cups of flour in a bowl, in a medium sized bowl. Then I sifted along with it, with the flour, one teaspoon of baking soda, two teaspoons of baking powder. After sifting them together, I used dark brown sugar, two cups, not sifted, not sifted, two cups of brown sugar, not sifted. Then taking one and three fourths of a cup of butter, which is 170 grams, which equals a stick and half a stick of butter, which is counting four tablespoons and slicing the second half of the butter. You want to take the butter, the sticks of butter, and slice them into cubes, into one tablespoon each. And then you are going to put it on top of the flour, the brown sugar, and mixed with the baking powder, the two spoons, two teaspoons of baking powder that you already put in. So put the butter in with that mixture, with that dry mixture and then begin to mix it either with your hand or with a fork. What you want to do is you want to create a crumb-like mix, uh, mixture, mixing it together. Then after, you, after it's got all mixed together with the butter, you want to divide that mixture in half. Half of it will go in this, in this nine inch. So you're going to use a nine inch spring form pan. You're going to take one half of that mixture and put it in there and smash it down all the way around so that it creates that, that so that it creates a um, a a base sort of like what you use for uh, for cheesecake. Instead instead of using graham crackers here we used flour and uh, the brown sugar and the flour to create that that same um, that same scenario. And then after you flattened it, you're gonna take one, you're gonna take one egg, put it in a stand mixer or a hand mixer or mix it in your hands. You're gonna take one and a half of ground nutmeg and you are going to mix it, mix it very well until it all mixes together. Then you're gonna take one cup of milk and in the cup of milk, you're gonna add one teaspoon of baking soda. After you add the baking soda in the milk, you are going to mix, put it in the egg mixture into the stand mixer with the, with the, not with the paddle, but with the mixer part for the, I forgot what they call it. The mixer part for the, uh, of the stand mixer and set it on four or five. Okay, once you have a great mixture, you take the other half of the flour mixture that we made and you're gonna put it in, you're gonna first, you're gonna change the mixer part. You're gonna put the paddle mixer after that. When you're gonna put the second half with the flour and the brown sugar, you're gonna put the paddle mixer and then you're gonna add the, 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 the sugar, the flour and the butter mixture, the other half, the sugar, flour and the butter and the, and the brown sugar into that mix until it's mixed very smooth until it's well mixed 
after it's well mixed, you're gonna take it and you're gonna pour it into the spring form on that base that you formed with the other half. Then you're gonna take, you can add, you have optional here. You, you can, uh, I put walnuts and pecans. You're gonna drop them lightly on top of the mixture, not push them down, just drop them on the top. Okay, and then after you pour it and you put that in there, you're gonna put your oven to 350 degrees and uh, bake it for about 30 to 40 minutes. Remember to grease your pan on the, on the top and the outside. Oh, I also forgot to mention, before I put the bottom crust layer, I put um, butter on the flat part of the string form and put uh, parchment paper on the bottom and then I added the crust the part and formed it into the into into the bases the, the crust bases on the bottom so you're going to want to do that before you do the other parts after you put it in there for 350 degrees for about 30 40 minutes after uh, you know you're going to have to check it with a toothpick it comes out clean and then you're all set to eat it but first when you take it out the best thing is let it cool all the way so that when you open it it doesn't stick to the pan Ahlan wa sahlan bikum fil international baker Al-yawm amalna gato al-armani li ma'mool min jost al-tayyib Hada al-gato awala minna naakhud kastain min al-daqiq wa nankhilun ma' ma'alakat Zagira min al the bio bio carb bio carbonate or the baking soda that they call it here in America and a mixture of the baking powder and we put it with the liquid then we add sugar bunny without tanchil casting sugar bunny without tanchil. ثم يحط كيف نقول نص كاسة نص كاسة كاسة ونص زبدة نص كاسة زبدة مع نص زبدة بدي أقولها في الإنجليزي يعني واحد ستيك of butter والثاني أربع معلقات كبار من الزبدة أو السمنة إذا أردت تستعمل السمنة يعني رح تستعملوا زيت مو مشكلة بس القوام يلي رح يطلع يطلعوا القوام يلي مطلوب من هالجاتو هو الزبدة بعدين بتحط بتحطوا الزبدة مع السكر بني ومع الدقيق والبيكنج باودر وتم بيدكون تعجنون ليصيروا مثل شكله مثل التراب يعني القماشة بعدين تقسموا النص من هذه الخلطة ونص الخلطة بتحطوه بال... بال... بالتحت القالب تعملوه مثل 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 شكل الخبز يعني شلون بيقول لك تمع شلون بيقول لكم تمعسوه مثل شكل الخبز بدائت من... من تحت بعد ما تعمل بعد ما تعملوه كلته ساوي وجالس تنقلوا للخلاطة بالخلاطة بالخلاطة نحط ال... نحط بيضة واحدة نحط و... معلقة صغيرة واحدة معلقة صغيرة واحدة ونص معلقة شاي اوكي سو معلقة كاملة شاي ونص معلقة شاي معلقة صغار بعدين بتحطوها مع البيض تخفقوها تخفقوها خلوها عم تخفق هي لحالها ليش يطلعوا ليش يطلعوا شو نقول لك يبقبق بعد ما يبقبق بتجيبوا كاسة حليب بتحطوا معلقة شاي من البيكنج باودر من البيكنج سودا عفوا وتخلطوه مع الحليب وبعدين تدلقوه جوات ال شو اسمه الخلاطة وخليه يخلط يخفق 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 ليبقبق يصير كله يبقبق يصير مثل شوي مثل كريمة كأنه بعدين 
يضاف النص الجزء الثاني من الخلطة الدقيق وال والدقيق والسكر البني والمعلقة من البيكنج صودا والمعلقة صغيرة من معلقتين صغيرة من البيكنج باودر يضاف إلى الحليب والبيض ويتغ... وينخفق جيدا بعدين ما ينخفق كتير كويس ويطلع قوامه كتير ناعم وعم بيلمع كأنه تجي بتجيبه للقالب بتدلقه كلته بالنص لأنه بالنص طريقة فيه بالتعليم الخبز بتدلقه بالنص بيمد بيمد دائر على كل الجوانب إذا دقته من جنب مش رح يعبي كل القالب مثل ما قلنا إذا دلقتوه بالنص بيمد على كل الجوانب بعد ما دلقتوه وحطيتوا كل الخلطة جوات القالب بتجيبوا المكسرات يلي ترغبوا تعملوها بس أنا بفضل مع الجوز لأنه حطينا جوز الطيب الطعم مع الجوز مع جوز الطيب رح ينسجم مع بعضه So, بعدين بتحطوه بالفرن 180 درجة تبع سلسيوس وهون عندنا بتكون 350 فرنهايت إلى مدة 30 ل 40 دقيقة وإلا تحطوا الخشب التوث بيك لتشوفوا إذا طلع من الجاتو ما عم بيلزق بعدين جاهزين خلوه يبرد 10 دقائق وصحتين وألف هنا على قلبكم والله يخليكم ويسلموا إيديكم على التشجيع وأهلا وسهلا فيكم وبوسات لكل أحباء